This is another sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. With one intention in mind, to annihilate the state of Israel. This is Hamas' primary goal. In this truth, there is no confusion. I speak as first-hand witness on Hamas and their intention. My father is one of the founders of Hamas movement. I was there when Hamas was born. I was before Hamas was born. And as I said before, I will be there after Hamas is dead. I am not a part of propaganda. I don't work for nobody. I only represent myself. And on this authority, I speak. So don't be mistaken. And take my words very carefully. Hamas is committing a crime against this generation and the next generations to come. So blaming Israel is not going to solve the problem. Imagine a 10-year-old child. When I disobeyed Hamas, I was tied up to a post. And I was whipped by Hamas top leader, top leader. And I don't want to mention his name because he's not worthy. With the electric cable, every lash, I lost my breath until I lost my consciousness. My father was in prison at that time, and this leader thought that he was my mentor. This is Hamas discipline. This is how they wanted me to be, to become a violent savage like them. And the very basic intelligence of a child, when I felt that that was not natural, it wasn't, but I had still to go to the mosque to please my mother and please my father and obey this type of monsters. I hate to talk about my personal struggle and I hate to be in a position to be at defense. He also don't like to be at defense because this is what Hamas did to Israel on October 7th. They put all of us at defense. But this doesn't mean that we are not going to end the war. Have too many people been killed? Yes, far too many people have been killed. Far too many people have been killed since the moment Hamas invaded us on October 7th and perpetrated that act of genocide when they burned whole families alive, dismembered little children, raped little girls and abducted our grandmas. It's a very sad fact that everyone who has been killed or hurt since October 7th would still be alive if Hamas had not invaded us, launched this war and chosen to fight this war from inside densely populated areas where it has deliberately and in flagrant violation of international law hidden its military assets underground under civilian areas. And it remains true that this war could end tomorrow and the suffering could end right now if Hamas surrenders. And that's the position of the UK government when we see Lord Cameron in that uh, op-ed with the German foreign minister writing, Hamas must lay down its arms. There is no room for Hamas in a post-war Gaza. We heard Secretary Blinken saying the same thing. This war can end tomorrow if Hamas surrenders and we desperately hope, we're calling on Hamas fighters, they know they have two options, to surrender peacefully or to die in battle. And, and we hope they will make the right choice. Hamas does not serve the Palestinian people. Hamas serves right. Iran. Those are the masters of Hamas. So 
uh, they lie about nationalism, that they are a national movement and they care for the Palestinian people. Look at them. They are using Palestinian people as a human shield. We need to free Gaza from Hamas. This is what Israel is doing. It's doing the Palestinian people the greatest favor by uh, 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 bringing Hamas down. The enemy is a disease that has no cure. The 7th of October massacre is something that I haven't seen through my life. This is a war we have to fight. There is only one goal. Defeat Hamas, kill the leaders of terror, and bring our people back home. You know, messing with a nuclear power, the most powerful country in the region, a country with a, a trauma great trauma from the past with a, a memory of a holocaust and uh, all the nazis did in the past century you they opened uh, the gates of hell on the palestinian people this is how irresponsible this group people are you know that they are willing to actually sacrifice many palestinian children the entire palestinian people and use them as a fuel to just achieve their ideological uh, agendas, their religious agendas. They are careless. They don't care for the human life. We have to separate between what so-called Palestinian cause and Hamas cause. Hamas cause is a sick one. It's coming from the pit of hell, you know, and they need to be removed uh, from power. This is my message as an ex-Hamas member as a son of one of Hamas founders, that enough of this. If we don't stop them now, the next war is going to be deadlier. And only God knows what will happen next if Hamas is not finished as soon as possible. Jeremiah, chapter 47. This is the word of Jehovah to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh struck down Gaza. This is what Jehovah says. Look, waters are coming from the north. They will become a flooding torrent, and they will flood the land and everything in it, the city and those inhabiting it. The men will cry out, and everyone dwelling in the land will wail at the sound of the pounding hoofs of his stallions at the rattling of his war chariots and the rumbling of his wheels. Fathers will not even turn around for their sons, for their hands fall limp, because the day that is coming will destroy all the Philistines. It will cut off from Tyre and Sidon every remaining ally, for Jehovah will destroy the Philistines, who are the remaining ones from the island of Kaftor. Baldness will come to Gaza. Ashkelon has been silenced, O remnant of their valley plain. How long will you keep making cuts on yourself? Ah, the sword of Jehovah! How long will you not be quiet? Go back into your sheath. Take your rest and be silent. How can it be quiet when Jehovah has given it a command against Ashkelon and the seacoast. There is where he has assigned it. And all these are more signs of the times.